All right, so we've returned back to the town. Sarai, something like that. Because it turns out we actually have to come back here. We can't just take the parts back to the sand flyer. So it's in the bar that we have to go. Here we go. The Nina character in all of the Breath of Fire games have always been the princess of Windia. And this is no exception, although I wonder why they felt like they shouldn't have brought this up earlier. As though this was going to be some kind of a surprise that the girl that Ryu was traveling with was a princess all of a sudden. I don't know. Maybe thinking that new um, new players of the series, because they're always going to try and bring in new players, you can't just exist off of your previous audience, that maybe they were, maybe they'd be taken surprised by it, you know? But anyway, it doesn't seem like these Empire soldiers, I guess these are from that Folu Empire, it didn't seem like they were out here for the sake of finding her. This was just sort of like a crime of opportunity. Oh, the princess showed up. So, hey, you know what? Let's uh, have this guy try to kidnap her. Okay, let's give that a shot. So this would be the second boss battle we've had. And it does seem like the boss battles are going to be rendered in 3D geometry instead of the 2D sprites that we've been seeing on all the other enemies and player characters. So I guess that's how we're going to know we're in a boss fight, because I can't always tell. <laughs> Why the hell is Ryu not helping her right now? This fight's clearly going on long enough that he seems like he should have jumped down there and lent a hand instead of letting Nina do this on her own. <laughs> and it's dead. And this fight is going to put a further lead on her uh, level advance over Ryu.
So I guess we can't get the parts repaired. Just gonna have to get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, I mean, what the hell is gonna happen now? I mean, did it really matter that the parts needed to be repaired? Or are we just gonna take them back? I don't know. Am I overthinking this? Oh, well, seems like she is, uh, she and I are on the same page here. The camp feature is pretty useful in all of these games. Not if your character gets knocked unconscious, but just for the sake of saving your character, saving your game and resting your characters. It's pretty useful. Plus, it gives you an opportunity to talk with the other characters and see what's going on with them. Maybe people have a different perspective on this than I do. But in Breath of Fire 3, which is a game in this series that I have the most experience with, the character of Nina was unlike what she was portrayed as in 2, and very different than what we're seeing here in 4. The character of Nina in Breath of Fire 2, or I'm sorry, in Breath of Fire 3, was portrayed as like an out-of-her-depth character. Someone who wants to go and do all the adventuring and all that kind of stuff, but is really unprepared for the danger and all of that or what's going on in there. In fact, I get the feeling that it ended up being a big part of her character arc that she had this sort of protected lifestyle, but she wanted to get away from that. She wanted to adventure. The problem was, though, that Nina was physically weak even with her magic she wasn't really all that capable of defending herself or anything like that and it ended up happening a number of times throughout the game that she had to be protected by Ryu in that game and that played into Ryu's character arc that he was this, this young scared child in and out of his own depth who had to sort of like man up so to speak and take charge and protect this girl who's traveling with him, even though he was just a scared little boy not that long before. Now that character arc kind of does make sense, but when we're dealing with a situation of these kinds of games, you kind of don't really want to go and portray any of your player characters as sort of being the physically inept character that Nina was. I mean, she wasn't completely useless in that game, but she also wasn't the most useful and you're really only going to end up using her if you feel like you're forced to or you're kind of trying to spread the love around to all the different characters but nina was definitely in a lot of ways the weakest character in that game both in storyline and in gameplay clearly something that they're trying to change in this in fact i'd say that in a lot of ways she's the more powerful of the characters here and in other ways Storyline wise, she seems to be taking center stage. So far, this game has been Nina's story. It hasn't been Ryu's. She has been the driving character of it. She fought that boss battle on her own without his help, even though they had some uh, cutscene stuff that happened after, with him slashing the dude in the face. 
Everything that has been going on so far, though, has been her story. It hasn't been his. Even the, like, running away running away from town, finding the sand flyer parts, going into that Sarai place, all of that stuff was done because she is guiding the group there. She even has the more useful field ability. I don't know what the sword slash is supposed to do in this game. It doesn't seem to do anything so far. But she can fly into the air and spy the area around, so... I've been having her run around be the um, be the lead character in all this. And now look at this, what happened here. Ryu actually broke his sword when he slashed that guy in the face. So now we have to go and... Uh, his sword is almost useless that he was using. So now we have to get this Bowie knife and use that as his weapon. But it is a less useful weapon than the one he already had. So she already had an advantage over him before, but now it's even greater because he's carrying around a shit weapon. The broken sword isn't useful. It's actually, it's and the, the sword that he had before was equivalent to the Sage's Staff that Nina's carrying around. But now he's got the Bowie Knife, which is an inferior weapon. Well, unfortunately, it's the best we can do, so it gave her an even further advantage. They're clearly putting a lot of effort into this. I'm guessing this is the same dev team that worked on 3, that worked on 4. And they probably, when it was all said and done, looked at the character of Breath of Fire 3, Nina, and said, you know what, we gotta, we gotta course correct on this. So, this is the result. So, I feel like, I mean, even though it's the Breath of Fire series and the fact that the Dragon Clan and all that is a big part of all the story all the time, Maybe they should have taken a little bit of a twist and just flat out made Nina the main character. In which case, they'd have to not make Ryu a, um, a silent protagonist. I'm never really all that big of a fan of the silent protagonist thing. It only really works in my mind for a much simpler story like what we saw in Earthbound or anything like that. If we're going to go and start having a silent protagonist in a more engaging story, I'm less of a fan of it. I want my main character to be a actual character instead of just an avatar for the player, which is why Nina is going to come across as a much better character in this game. Alright, so apparently the rest of the town has been sort of contaminated with a hex. Now I'm going to get a guess that the war that's been going on, I don't have any details so far about who was fighting in this war. I guess that Folu Empire is fighting against whoever it is that um, this town belongs to. But a war has been going on, and I guess the... Hex is a sort of equivalent to, say, like biological warfare or chemical warfare. Something that has the chance of contaminating the land in such a way that makes it unusable. Now we have these people who sort of try to cleanse the Hex, which I guess would be analogous to the kind of people that might clean up an area after a chemical weapon attack. Or some sort of like industrial accident or something like that. And, of course, this sort of industrial accident, not industrial accident, I guess it was 
uh, an attack by the Empire is going to bar our way of getting through this town. So we're going to have to go and find some other way of getting through. It is cool to see that they're putting some of these uh, a little more heady topics into into a game like this. Just sort of like the ethical impl implications of using chemical warfare. So we got to go and talk to these guys to try to find some way that we can get through to the other side. I'm going every damn place in this town trying to find out who it is that I have to talk to. Just a <laughs> example of the kind of thing that'll happen if you don't know how to find your way through the game. Ordinarily, in these kinds of games, as I'm moving my way through the first time I'm playing them, I feel it's important to talk to every single NPC and get every single little bit of information. Even if I don't feel like I have to, like, head to town hall and talk to Jimmy, and that's going to be the that's going to be the objective of a particular map. And I know that going in, I still feel the need to go and talk to every NPC. Just uh, because usually they just volunteer information for no good reason, which gives you a little bit of background and everything about the town and everything that's going on there. So, I don't know. In a game like this, when I'm playing through, when I'm playing through trying to record like a live commentary, I'm sort of torn between going and doing something like that or trying to move the story forward. Because, um... I kind of don't want the episodes to last forever. A blind playthrough might potentially take forever, you know? All right, we're going to have to go and talk to everybody over again because we need to go and find somebody who's willing to guide us through the hexed area in order to get to the other side. And that's going to be a uh, dungeon run. Good for those. I haven't really seen any of that kind of thing yet. So that'll be pretty cool. Happen in the next episode, though. So thanks for watching. I haven't played that yet. Looking forward to it.